Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm going to share with you some of the things that was on my Reddit feed for today. First up, this picture of a cat standing up from r slash cat standing up. And then over at r slash bone apple tea, someone is selling a bullet 10 board. $14 if you're interested. Today I was treated to two shitty life pro tips. The first is for people who hate to fold their clothes. Posted by user Towin. If you keep restarting the dryer, you never have to fold your clothes. The next tip was posted by user XNXRXDH. Life hack. Save time by crying about two things at the same time. And on r slash Scottish people Twitter, the image of a cash machine in Glasgow that charges for cash withdrawals. To look out for fellow Glaswegians, someone has written directions to the nearest free machines and how far away they are to walk. In the comments, Mambi Pambi 8 says, Forget the free option. I just wouldn't use that ATM because it's fucking manky dirty. Ew. It is pretty gross. And further down in the comments, they start discussing seeing someone pee on an ATM and when asked why anyone would piddle on an ATM, Durban Stains piped up with this gem. I would pish on it because everybody using it has touch my pish. Haha, <laughs> you all touch my pish. Up yees. Loosely translated as... I would pee on it knowing everyone using it has touched my urine. Haha, ha, you touch my pee. Up you all. Next up is this from r slash murdered by words. Kim Kardashian has tweeted the following. We danced, we rode bikes, swam near whales, kayaked, watched a movie on the beach and so much more. I realise that for most people, this is something that is so far out of reach right now. So in moments like these, I am humbly reminded of how privileged my life is. Hashtag this is 40. And she gets this savage response from Machine Gun Kelly. Happy birthday! I hope someone got you an alphabet book as a gift so you can learn to read the room. People are losing jobs and struggling to feed their children, Kim. Come on now. Then there's this posted by Mork Glork over on r slash fuck you, Karen. Karen, my children are angels. The children... To be fair, children are at a disadvantage having been spawned by a Karen. User Pencil Rain 99 posts on r slash British problems, though I think this one applies to us all. People saying, I can't wait for this year to be over, as though come the 1st of January, everything's going to be alright. In the comments, Lonely Surf says, I feel like people have always said that. This year sucks. 20 so and so is going to be my year. Like an arbitrary calendar reset has any bearing on reality. There has been a marked increase this year though, you're right. Guess it's just because 2020 has almost universally been a dumpster fire. On r slash Karen, user Hellenic Map asks what is more irritating? No masks at all? Or masks not covering up the nose? Oh, this is one of my biggest bugbears. Like, it's all over social media. Why hasn't everyone gotten the memo yet? Wearing a face mask like this is like you wearing underwear like this. And also, you look fucking stupid. On r slash am I the asshole, user not a happy bunny123 asks, am I the asshole for embarrassing my mother's boyfriend in front of his kids? I, a 29 year old male, own my own home. This will be relevant later. My mum, 53, lives with me as she lost her home a couple of years ago. Long story, but not very relevant. A year ago, she began dating again and met R, a 47 year old male. And they had been in a relationship for six months. When global issues began, I agreed to allow R and his kids, 14 female and 12 male, to come live with us. Now, I've met R enough times that we know each other as friends, but not close friends. I'm just happy my mum is moving on. He immediately began laying down rules he expects all the kids to follow. And I thought, fair enough, you have rules for your kids, it's not my business. Of course he put out a reasonable curfew for the kids. So now we get to 48 hours ago. I was feeling cooped up in the house and decided to go for a late night run with me immediately going to bed when I got back. When I woke up the next morning I went down for breakfast. As I hit the bottom of the stairs the living room door flies open with R on the other side red faced and obviously angry. He immediately shout, in here now. I have no idea what's going on but I assume it has something to do with the kids so I go in and he slams the door shut. So I turned and said, was there any need for that? He goes wide-eyed and starts going into an angry tirade. How dare I disrespect his rules? Your stepbrother and sister follow the rules. Why can't you? Under this roof, you show me respect. I'm your effing stepdad. 
Through all of this, I'm sitting on the coffee table in disbelief, getting angrier by the second. Eventually, he finished blasting off, but not before his kids and my mum come down to see what's going on. This may be where I am the asshole. I stood up and pretty much stood nose to nose. Yeah, it's intimidating behaviour, my first mistake, and I just let rip. I asked him, how dare he talk to me this way in my house? I'm a grown man. I do not follow your rules under my roof. If you can't handle that, then get out. You aren't my stepfather. You are my mother's boyfriend. And we will never have that sort of relationship. You clearly misled yourself into thinking we do. I expect an apology. He packed his things and took his kids back to his own home. My mum said there was no need for me to be that nasty and accused me of going too far for embarrassing her boyfriend in front of his kids and undermining his parenting. Now she's giving me the silent treatment. Down in the comments, Sondror says, Not the asshole, you're a grown man, it's your house. And the trash took itself out. Yeah, it just baffles me that this guy thought he would lay down rules on an adult in their own home. And what about him embarrassing you by shouting at you like you're a child? That was totally unnecessary. Check out these pictures of this cat who likes to split on the back of chairs. Check out r slash split for more animals pictured with their arms and legs stretched out. Yeah, there's pretty much a subreddit for everything. On r slash insane parents, user, but I don't care, shares this Facebook post from what looks to be a Karen about her mini knees. Anyone got an old Xbox they don't want or doesn't work, so I can smash it to tiny pieces in front of the kids so they think I've done hours and I can psychologically traumatise them into not fucking fighting over it anymore. I'd smash up hours, but I need to watch Netflix and occasionally play The Sims. Hashtag, someone pass me wine. How about you lay off the wine, Karen, and actually go parent your kids? Check out this dog sitting on the couch on r slash animals being derps. I'm going to finish with some anti-jokes from r slash anti-jokes. What did the two Italian people say to each other? I don't know. I don't speak Italian. A bear walks into a bar. Everyone screams. Okay, so a Muslim, an atheist, and a Jewish person walks into a bar. And they have a really nice time. Knock, knock. Who's there? Dave. Dave who? Dave bursts into tears as his grandmother's Alzheimer's continue to tear his family apart. A horse walks into a bar. He loses the show jumping competition. Knock, knock. Come in. I used to tell dad jokes. He's dead now. What's an old snowman called? Water. Did you hear about the goldfish that went bankrupt? You shouldn't have. Goldfish have no way of comprehending the ownership of money and how important it is to humans. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and I'm like, this is private property and if you don't leave, I will call the police. What do you get when you cross an elephant with a rhinoceros? A Nobel Prize or likely a grant for further research. Yo mama so fat, we're all extremely worried about her health. Three kids walk into a bar and they are promptly asked to leave. How do you fight off a burglar with a gun with nothing but a Batman pop figure? Please respond quickly, I need help. What rhymes with chair? No it doesn't. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you have heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.